On Monday, 7th of July, 2020, driver unions across the country, especially the Concerned Drivers Union, increased their transportation fare by 30% following the increment in fuel prices. It's obvious that some passengers are not in support of this move. We are on the ground to speak to the drivers and also the passengers to find out from them what exactly the issue is and how they are welcoming the increment. Are you aware of any increment in transportation uh, first? No, I'm not aware because yesterday I came and picked a car here, but they didn't tell us that they will increase the fare today. So I just got to this place and I heard they said they have increased the fare. So I was so shocked. The government have to come to our aid. Uh, uh, we'll make sure the fuel mm, will be increased, uh, the fuel will come down so that the, uh, the lorry fare too will come down or the transportation will come down. I enter the car, uh, the thing is a 6 CD 50 persons. And then they, now they increase that to two, the 8 CD 50 persons, which is too much. And then you know here anything that uh, the, the fuel is increasing or not. Nothing no show. They don't tell anything. And then everybody is crying. Corona can we all we are managing, but see how we are we are killing us. See how the people are killing us. They are killing us. Not me, you, you are mom. They are killing us. See how 20 Ghana have to go and come, I have to eat inside. But now see what money remains. I have to bring the car back and then the money will finish. It's inconvenient because as at now, we don't know the percentage of the fuel now. We don't know how much the fuel is being increased. And then the drivers are telling us uh, now from here to Ashaman is 80 to 50 pesos. So I think it's too much for us. So they should do something about it. It's obvious drivers of public vehicles are in support of this move. I'll speak to a number of them and ask of their opinions uh, following the increment in their first. I think the increment is long overdue. We should have increased it long time. We were expected the government to do something about it, even right down from the lockdown. But up to now, they've not done anything about it. It is all about time. We have to in take initiative so that we'll be able to do something so that our cars will not be granted down. Do you have some uh, of your passengers opposing to the increment in your vehicles? And first of all, if you can tell me where you move from, you travel from where to where, and if you can tell us what your passengers have been telling you. Normally, things, are, things like this beginning, you will have one people, one way or the other, opposing to it. But as times go on, why you keep on encouraging or why you keep on explaining to them why we've initiated this move, they will come to understand it by themselves. Joining me is the Vice Chairman of the Concerned Drivers Union. His name is David Aguado. Hello, sir. Hello, good morning, sir. You are welcome to the City News Show. Thank you very much. Can you take us through some of the uh, things you considered before you arrived at this decision that you, you, you increase your transportation fare by 30%? Yes. Um, the things are, uh, we use five components. And the components are the pass, the spare pass, the fuel. And then um, even the dollar rate, and then the passengers that we have taken off from each car, we have compiled all this, and that is what get or this, that's why we arrive at this very point. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Ni Latte.